What's going on, y'all? How y'all doing today? Hey, um, uh, I'm back on the road. I was in the shop for a month. So that's why y'all didn't get no videos out of me for a little while. Um, I got my next load, as y'all can see. <clears throat> it's a bowl for a cat, a caterpillar. What model cat scraper this is, I'm not sure. I'll find out, and I'll let y'all guys know when I talk to the, uh, I talk to the people that caterpillar when I deliver it. But, uh, yeah, that's what I got. It's unfinished, brand new, built in Mexico, and everything. So, I'm gonna show y'all what it is. And then, uh, we'll this is what it is. It's a bowl, caterpillar. It's uh, 13 too tall as it sits. The highest point is right there. I know they right here look like it's higher, but towards the truck is the highest point. Um, it is 11 feet, 10 inches wide. The widest point is right there where that flag at. Right there on both sides. So 29, it's just under 30,000 pounds. So I, I just secured it for 30,000 pounds. Well, how I secured it is they had the plastic wrapped around there and rubber. They had it wrapped around the around this bar on both sides. So I hooked up there. Then I got me some shackles. This hole right here. I hooked up the shackles on both sides. And then up front. They got these lugs right here and they got the plastic and rubber wrapped around it. So I knew that was the place to secure it. This right here. So I put half inch chains, direct pull from the load straight to the trailer is a direct pull. And I get half the weight. That's 11.3 for one half inch chain. Both of them together. I get a full 11.3 cause this is um, five, 750, 5,750 pounds right there, 5,750 pounds on that side. Both on together equals 11.3. And I did the same thing in the back. Half inch chains to stop it from sliding left and right. Cause these are pretty much pulling straight, straight down. You know here? It's pretty much pulling straight down. So I put these on here. It started from sliding left and right. I did that on both sides. So therefore, them two together, 11, three, them two together, 11, three. So 11, three, 11, three, and 11, three. I got more than no securement to secure a 60,000 pound load with those six chains. So I'm over secured. I didn't throw any uh, lights on the side. I got some lights, magnetic lights that I can put right here in the back and then uh i got some yellow ones that i can put right here in the front i was thinking about doing that i put them right there I was thinking about doing that but i can't ride at night nowhere while i'm holding this load i can't ride at night so what's the point you know other than that other than that this the load that i got currently i had a uh Caterpillar front end loader. I think I recorded some of that, but my camera died on me. So I'm not sure on how much of that I got recorded. Uh, I'm gonna try to edit that and put that out. Um, I had a Caterpillar dump truck also. I'm gonna edit that and see how much I can see what I can put out. Actually, I got that already. I tried to put it out, but it's not working. But uh, I got a few videos coming out. Y'all just stick with me. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Oh, hey, I you see something on that truck. Those are automatic tire inflators.
So as you're driving, it spins. It spins with the tire as you're driving. And the centrifugal force actually pumps air into the tires. So I'm gonna try to get one, some of those for my next truck I get. My next truck, probably be one of those, a Volvo. So I'm gonna try to do that, but anyway. Anyway though, y'all have a good one. Peace, be blessed, and I'll talk to y'all later.